everyone and welcome back to my channel today I just rolled out of bed clearly and I am doing a what I eat in a day and I am breastfeeding I'm four months postpartum um, so it may look a little different I'm also trying to get like my postpartum nutrition on track this is not about losing weight I always say that it's just about being healthy and strong so I'm gonna show you what I eat I just started um, drinking my coffee so I'm surprised I can even get words out usually Chris brings me coffee in bed but this morning I'm just trying to um, catch up. I'm running a little behind because we just got back from North Carolina and um, bless you baby and we are getting the um, kids ready for school and all of that so it's a little bit hectic so I'm gonna catch back up with you in a minute but I just want to show my face and say good morning. Okay I can talk a little bit now because Chris just took all the kids with him to bring Carter to school. Carter is in kindergarten so he goes every day and Tanner only goes twice a week. We actually just signed Ella up for a summer program at the same place starting in June. So they'll, um, Tanner and Ella will be going to like a pre-K camp type thing. Um, this, I guess from June until September, which is nice because Ella begs to go to school. Plus I'll just give mommy a little break. Um, so I'm excited about that, but let me just kind of get into this video a little bit more. So you saw my coffee. So this is my favorite creamer that I've been using in my coffee. I love oat milk in general. I've still been eating cheese and things like that, but I'm trying to um, like not drink milk or have half and half, and I've noticed such a difference just in my sinuses. I get like so mucusy when I have too much dairy. I know it's disgusting, but it's true. I always tell people that I have like bad allergies, because usually in the morning I wake up and I have to blow my nose like forever, but since I just like cut back, I'm not dairy free at all, but I just cut back from like I'm not drinking regular milk and not having half and half and just those two things alone have made such a huge difference, not only in myself with my uh, nose and everything, but also with Everly who I'm breastfeeding. So this is my favorite creamer. I don't add any sugar with it because it's sweetened up on its own. Um, so yeah, I love oat milk. I also just wanted to show um, like what I'm pumping. I only pump twice a day. I pump for 15 minutes in the morning. I do have an oversupply, so this is not like a normal amount of milk. This is extra. Um, I actually don't really save any of my milk. I donate it to a local baby. I've been donating to the same baby um, since I started my pumping journey this time, but I have enough to nurse Evie and pump for another baby, so I'm very blessed for that. But I only pump in the morning and at night. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that away and freeze it. And sorry if you're not new here because you've heard this 10 million times, but if you are new here, I just wanted to explain. I do have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, um, and what that is is my body attacks my own thyroid as like a foreign object. So I take Synthroid every day. I'm currently on 100 micrograms. Um, I had lab tests done which show that I'm slightly hyperthyroidism, but they want to keep me on the same dose for a couple more weeks since I'm postpartum and my levels are all over the place. So uh, having Hashimoto's definitely sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm trying to help manage it more with um, a postpartum nutritionist and she's just a nutritionist in general, but I always call her my postpartum nutritionist, Jessica Spires, and I'm actually gonna be collabing with her on this video, which is really exciting because her channel is so underrated she has so much knowledge and such amazing healthy recipes she always figures out how to put like veggies into everything she's doing even for her kids like i wish my kids would eat like her kids eat they eat so good um she's just amazing and i honestly can't thank her enough with like how much she has helped me like food truly is medicine it's crazy because just like there's just a random backpack in the background but this is 
life. But food is truly medicine. When I follow her recipes and take the supplements she tells me to take, I feel like a new person, like my mood, everything. So I just honestly can't thank her enough. And I'm gonna insert a little clip of her what I eat in a day right here um, over top of me talking, but I am. Uh, like I always talk about her on Instagram, I talk about her on YouTube, but I just like can't say enough good things about her. She's one of those people who has just truly changed my life. Um, she taught me that I don't need to suffer postpartum and that things will get better. Um, she has just been there for me throughout all of it. So I was saying I actually met her when I was doing this like celery juice cleanse and um, I was having, I was also really sick with what now I truly think. Do you guys remember when I was sick? like two Januarys ago, I had like a 105 fever. Um, I really wonder if it was a coronavirus, but anyway, she reached out to me and was like telling me about like what my body is going through and just like explaining everything to me. We talked about a lot about juicing and then I really, she like basically told me some things that I could take to help myself feel better and to fight everything off that I was fighting, um, trying to like be compliant right now and like not you know, I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. She always says, like, check with your um, medical provider. And I feel the same way. Like, anything that I'm doing, um, I have spoken with my, um, you know, my doctor about. So, I don't know. I just get a lot of questions about supplements I take and, like, if it's uh, okay with breastfeeding and all of that. But just always, always just ask your doctor. Jessica is also a mom of two. And we have an exciting announcement that I'm going to announce more towards the middle of this video. But right now, just make sure you check out the link in my description box and subscribe to Jessica's channel because everybody that I have referred to her has reached back out to me and is like, oh my goodness, thank you for referring me to her. I've been working with her and I feel like a person again. So just putting that out there. Today, honestly though, I'm trying to eat super clean and just like catch up because being in North Carolina, I just live my best life and just eat whatever I wanted when I wanted, but I, I feel like crap right now. So that's just being completely honest. I feel like I'm ready to eat healthy. You know what I mean? Like when you just been eating so bad and then you're like, okay, I need, I need to pull it back in here. So I just had my coffee. Not that that was very healthy with the whipped cream and all that, but I literally, I can't change my coffee. I can't change my ways that hard. In the past, like when I was like trying to be like super strict, I would just do black coffee and it's, I'm not about that black coffee life because I honestly just look forward to my cup of coffee in the morning being that I'm not a morning person and I can't change it. I'm peeling pretty bad too. Even though I put some black on that North Carolina sun is no joke. Anyway, let me stop talking and get into what we're having for breakfast and my supplements and all that. So, so far I woke up, I pumped, I took my Synthroid because you're supposed to wait half an hour to an hour um, before you drink or eat anything. Took my Synthroid, had my coffee, and now i got to figure out what's for breakfast today. Okay, so first up for breakfast, I am making her anti-inflammatory smoothie. And since she knows I'm breastfeeding, she's always like, if you're still hungry after this smoothie, go ahead and eat some oatmeal. I never mess around with being hungry. If I'm hungry, I eat. I don't do the whole, like, starvation. I, I personally, like, my personal belief is that if you're hungry, you should eat. Um, yeah, so that's just my own little philosophy. I know it's common sense, but a lot of people restrict themselves and I don't. Luckily, I um, prepped some of these a couple weeks ago and put them in the freezer. So um, I think I have like one or two left, but in this, let me tell you what's in this one. First of all, look at the little meal plan she makes her clients. Like this, first of all, is so pretty. And second of all, it's just extra and I love it. And then you can, you don't have to print it. You know, I'm just a very visual person. I recycle and I do things I can for the earth so don't come at me. Um, so uh, get recipe links here. You can click on this in your email and then it'll bring up all the recipes. And here's my recipe. This one's looking a little used because I use it every day. Um, so yeah, I just like to make things easier on myself because I know in order for me to stick with something, it's gotta be as simple and as easy as possible. So. Yeah, let me tell you what's in the anti-inflammatory smoothie. Okay, so in the anti-inflammatory smoothie, there's some collagen, water, banana, frozen raspberries, hemp seeds, turmeric, cinnamon, collard greens, and you just add ice and water as needed. So that's kind of what's all mixed up in here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that up with some water.
Okay, so now that my smoothie is done, I'm going to take my morning supplements. Um, I don't ever like recommend what to take. I'm just showing you what I take because everybody is so different and not everybody is on the same exact stuff. But I'm still loving my Mary Ruth's uh, prenatal and postnatal. I actually love like all of their products. I use their stuff for the kids and I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this brand and I trust this brand. Um, fermented cod liver oil is next level disgusting, but I mix it in with the prenatal, try to get it down. Stress B, and then I just ordered a different type of magnesium to take in the morning, um, so that should be here soon. Um, but yeah, this is it for today. And then also I've been filling this up every day. It's funny because I made fun of myself when I got this from Amazon because I did not notice how incredibly large it was. Um, but now that I fill it up every single day, um, it's just like a goal of mine. I can keep track because it's just like an easy way to keep track. There it is. It's 64 ounces. So I drink at least one of these a day and it's really helped keep me on track. You need tons of water in general just for life, but especially when you're breastfeeding. I actually just uh, talked with Jessica and she said I can start adding this in today. And I told her, I was like, you know, you're in your 30s when you're excited about adding a new supplement to your list. So adding this in today as well. And then I also ordered some electrolytes. Um, I just ordered this stuff a couple days ago. So I'm hoping that comes in soon. And then that will be my morning routine as well. But this is what I have so far, just waiting on that magnesium and the electrolytes. Also, this is how she sends your supplement schedule, which is amazing and also beautiful. I swear this is not a sponsorship for Jessica, but she's amazing, so I just want to give her so much credit for how good she has made me feel, um, and she's also an amazing friend. So, yes, let's go take all this stuff. All right, guys, so we're out running errands right now. I just quickly made some oatmeal to go, which is just an easy, simple hack is to make it in a coffee cup so you can have it to go with you or put it in your cup holder but I love oatmeal because you can do so much with it like you can add protein powder to it or fruit whatever you're just wanting that day and it's filling it's good for you especially good for breastfeeding but I just put some of that keto nut butter in it I'm not keto it just has like a lot of different um, nuts in it and it tastes really good and some bananas but I'll put that in right here Also, my toxic trait is every time you get in the car, you need to get iced coffee on the go or any kind of coffee. Mine just winds up usually being iced. But I just got, this is kind of like a boring one, but it's what I was feeling today. Um, I've been getting oat milk since Starbucks has started offering it. I just get oat milk and an iced coffee, no liquid sugar and, and nothing else. That's what I mean by it's boring. But um, I usually get one pump of flavor. My all time favorite coffee is a Dunkin Donuts medium iced coffee with oat milk and one pump of coconut. All right, you guys, so home for running errands. Now I'm just gonna make a quick and easy, simple lunch. I'm doing two cups of water with one cup of quinoa. More dogs barking. One cup of quinoa. Just gonna go ahead and let that boil. Also, like when I'm, when I have it, I have found like these bags of quinoa that you can just throw in the microwave and that's so much easier especially for lunch when you're in a rush i feel like lunch and breakfast i'm always in a rush actually i'm always in a rush period for every single meal which is how it works around here but yeah so we're gonna start off with that bring that to a boil all right you guys so while that cooks i'm having a little snack as jessica would say i would say um no i'm just kidding it does feel like a snack but you guys know I go through phases with meat. I don't put a label on myself if I'm like a vegetarian or anything like that. It's just sometimes I just don't like meat and I know a lot of you can relate. This is also why I never force Tanner to eat meat. If he wants, he can have it. But a lot of times like when the kids are having like nuggets or hot dogs, like he's not about it and I never like force him to eat stuff like that. I've actually just inquired about this course online called Feeding Littles because I'm gonna start baby led weaning with Evie again and I just feel like I'm a little out of practice since this is the biggest age gap um, between my babies. Ella is gonna be three in August and Evie's only four months old. I know that's still close together but it's my personal biggest age gap. 
But anyway, I think the point that I'm getting to is since I don't love a lot of meats and especially not beef, I can still um, like stomach this bone broth and it has like a lot of amazing benefits and it restores your minerals postpartum. Um, so I do drink one cup of this. I'm sure Jessica has so much more knowledge on this. And there's two cups that come in here. She said this is a really good brand. Um, I get this from Thrive Market. And I just heat it up for a second, so let me go do that real quick. Okay, I'm back. I'm not gonna act like this is like a real treat here. This is literally bone broth. But if it's gonna help me, it's totally worth it. Whenever I follow, because I fall off just like anybody else does. Like I'll do great, and then I'll start um, getting at the chocolate in the pantry and all of that but I feel like whenever I do follow Jessica's guide like perfectly or almost perfect because if you just wait to have like the perfect day, I notice like I'm like, oh, I didn't take my morning supplements, so I'm just not gonna take my nighttime supplements. It doesn't have to be all or nothing and I'm trying to fix my own thinking because I am like that sometimes. But whenever I follow her for, you know, can't speak. Whenever I follow her plan, I feel so much better, like a new person all around i can't make any claims as you know but it my own personal experience my anxiety is so much better my stress level like i just feel like i can handle my day um you know it's a lot being a mom of four and you know having your own business and all of that and being a mom in general just alone is a lot of work whether you have one kid whether you're pregnant with your first you know it's a lot not only like mentally and physically all of that but it's just like a lot on our emotional mental health and our bodies and a lot of times our you know physical health is tied into our mental health and that's what Jessica and I are kind of collabing on I'm trying to say is that when I follow Jessica's plan you know whether it's fully or partially I feel so much better in every way and I feel like I can take on my day um, and that is what our big announcement is is that Jessica and I are collaborating on a postpartum guide which is something that like came to my mind after I had Everly, like I kind of forgot like how hard postpartum is and I wanted to make a guide for myself to get back on track, but I also wanted to share this with other mothers to just help them feel their best postpartum. It is no joke. Um, so we're hoping to have this guide out by Mother's Day and it's just gonna be a guide about you know nutrition and supplements postpartum and then my take on postpartum as well and I think it's just gonna be an amazing thing. I truly feel like things happen for a reason and this is one of the big reasons why Jessica and I met is because I'm so passionate about helping moms and women in general, not just moms, helping women in general um, that I feel and she truly is too so I feel like both of us together can really make a difference out there. And that is my main goal. I know that's one of her goals too. Now I'm gonna go drink this bone broth while I'm waiting for the quinoa to warm up. I'm not gonna pretend this is like a delicious treat. It's bone broth. We can do this. Honestly, it's really not that bad. It's just a little bit bad, not a lot bad. So stay tuned for that postpartum guide. Our goal is to have it out by Mother's Day. Um, so the quinoa and water start to boil. So once that starts, you put it on low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. So this is like a really late lunch, but I'm actually going to, while that's simmering, go pick up Carter. Yes, that's scary to leave the stove on, but Chris is home. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. So back home, I just threw some burgers in this pan. They're already completely cooked. I know I just um, talked about like how sometimes I can do meat and sometimes I can't. I love this brand, let me show you. This is Amy Lou, I think you would say it. Um, her kale and mozzarella chicken burgers, these are from Costco. They are delicious. Um, also, they make like a turkey meatball that's really good. Um, so pretty much I just have like some type of her meat um, for lunch with quinoa and some greens. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, her sausage is really, really good too. And it has 21 grams of protein, 170 calories. After I throw some meat on the floor. Um, yeah, you can see everything right here. Minimal ingredients. Really good.
All right, so here's my lunch. Um, it's the greens, quinoa, this um, chicken mozzarella kale burger, and avocado, and then I put some of the Panera Asian sesame dressing on it. Um, I just feel like this is perfect. Like my mouth is like watering. I know it sounds crazy because a lot of you probably looking like, ew, quinoa and veggies, but I actually like love this. Chris, what do you think about your lunch? What? I'm excited about it. Mommy, have okay. you seen the iPad? Nope. No. If you do some sight words, I can find it. Oh, yeah. look like Come on, just five sight shoes. words. Yes? If you want the iPad, you gotta do five sight words. No. You got this. Come on. Okay. So good. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? Oh, we see guys for us. This is delicious, by the way. I was also just thinking that like this would be a great thing to meal prep if you have a container. You can just put your greens on the side, quinoa in one compartment, or mix it all together, however you like it, since you're gonna be eating it together anyway. And then cut up your burger and have it on the side, um, just to have it prepped and ready. But like I said, we were just getting back from North Carolina, and like we're all over the place. You can see you had to go get pull-ups and just errands today, and just getting our house back in order, unpacking all of that. But it feels good to be on track. Leave my food for two seconds. Chris is trying to hold her off. I got to nurse her. I had to get up and be a snack bee for a second. Now oh, they have snacks. Let me know if you want to see what my kids eat today. Wow, just house in that burger. I'm glad you like it, bud. If that's not mom life, I don't know what it is, but if I would have made this for dinner and put this in front of them, they would freak out. They would have pretend I'm eating it, they'll like it. And why would that sound? I don't know. Ice cream? Nope. <laughs> I don't know who that ice cream truck thinks they are coming around our neighborhood right after school. Chris said that Ella is loving it too. Guys, I have enough to make more. Do you want me to make you some? Guys? It's... Um, meanwhile, what are you doing, child? That is not okay. What in the world? <laughs> you guys, no way. You're gonna get a boo-boo. Tanner's the snack king. Alright. Guys, I know this isn't a vlog. It's a what I eat in a day, but I have to just show you Evs. Tanner, I just bought more of these at Target because we discovered in North Carolina that she likes the Nook, just like Ella did. So finally, at four months, I found a pacifier that she likes. So I got more because, you know, two pacifiers is never enough. Just come over here and she's trying to get them. Do you want mommy to sterilize these for you? Look at this drooly girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Carter. Lord help me. Okay, I'm getting ready to make dinner, but first I'm having one of these, my favorite. I can't go a day without chocolate, I'm obsessed. Um, so this is the Unreal Dark Chocolate Almond Butter. I do have the peanut butter ones that are really good, but I like these more. These are also from Thrive, but I'm sh I think you can get them other places. I don't know, but they are delicious. Okay, so for dinner we're doing sheet pan, shrimp, and asparagus. I'm also doing some green beans because Chris despises asparagus and I love it, so it's fine. I'll just eat his portion, right babe? Yeah. Um, so we have our shrimp, green beans, asparagus, lemon, four cloves of garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, Funny story, when I first moved out, my sister gave me a recipe. Yeah, there's ice in there, honey. I put ice in there. Then why is it so freezing? Because there's ice in there. You said you want ice water, right? I swear, guys, this is mom life. Um, anyway, how many times did I say that in one vlog? Have our cloves of garlic. The funny thing that I was going to tell you is that when I first moved out, I didn't really know like how to cook or anything. I had like my frozen meals that I would cook all the time before I learned how to cook. And my sister gave me a recipe and was like, okay, you need four cloves of garlic. I was like, wow, that's a lot of garlic. So I literally cut up like four of the heads of garlic. But yeah, funny story. Okay, let's move on.
Okay, so dinner is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and plate that. A little tip is that, you know, my kids don't love a lot of cooked vegetables, so a lot of times they will eat raw vegetables. They love raw green beans, so maybe something to try. Now let me show you the kids' sheet pan meal for tonight. <laughs> Honestly though, at least it's like a better version of both. I'm sure you guys can relate. It's not even just about an easy meal, it's about what they will actually eat, so this is their dinner tonight. Okay, dinner is served. Of course, literally every time I'm about to eat, Evie is ready to eat. It is late, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock and we just got the kids down. They all wanted to have extra snuggles tonight and I was cool with it. Um, but yeah, I look like I just got my kids to bed like it's been a long day. I'm actually, let me just show you what I'm drinking. Unfortunately, it's not a white collar wine, but it's not Mark. But it's this. This is the strawberry mango sparkling water. You know, it's my favorite one from Target. Um, drinking this, I'm actually getting ready to make some tea. actually wound up making this tea because the other tea says you can't use it when um, pregnant or breastfeeding so this is what I'm using instead but I will save that for the day when I'm not breastfeeding in a hundred years but this is Tulsi turmeric ginger tea okay so then my vitamin lineup at night is this um, liquid nighttime multi mineral this is amazing I actually like the pineapple dream better but this is coconut dream I take a little bit of natural calm in water, ashwagandha root, folate, the vitamin D I forgot to take this morning, so I just put it in there, whoops, and then the Marabou's liquid probiotic, and this is um, what the folate looks like and what the ashwagandha looks like. All right, you guys, me and my crazy hair, we're going to end it here. Um, I just started editing this a little bit, like as I was like drinking my tea and all of that, talking to my sister on the phone. And this video is 43 minutes. Um, I have to edit some stuff out because I don't know how I could actually talk so much. But I think it just felt really good to do like a vlog style video. I miss doing videos like that. Um, but yeah, basically I talked way too much in this video and I'm sorry. And if you're still here, you are the real you're the real deal for staying that long. Also, you might be able to hear Evie's shusher in the back, but anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, but even more importantly, be sure to check out Jessica and her channel. It would mean so much to me if you go over and subscribe to her channel because not only will you get amazing recipes, she also does clean with me videos and just puts out like really great, knowledgeable content and I always learn something from her so please be sure to check her out and let her know that I sent you it really does just mean a lot for me to help her grow because I know that she can help so many women out there and stay tuned for that um, postpartum guide coming out before Mother's Day